Um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, going back to the South, so excited to go back there. I mean, they're a tough opponent. Um, they're a good team, so excited to get after it and see what they have to offer. How's Ashton handling superstardom? I think he's uh, handling it very well. I mean, he ran for 200 yards and he came in. He's that same guy, you know, that he is off the field uh, at practice. You know, he's always humble and hungry and his effort is just unreal, his finish. And I think that shows up in the game too all the time. So I'm super proud of that kid. What were you guys, you and Riley, <clears throat> able to do to help him in the line? You were in a lot of plays, sure. walking together. So from your vantage point, how did you help? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of the motions and the shifts helped a lot. And then, you know, we're dialed in in the run game. So we were just pounding the rock down their throat and they couldn't handle it. So, you know, that helped a lot with Ashton. And obviously him breaking multiple tackles is, is going to play a huge role. So. When somebody moves and shifts, can you guess what they're going to do? Or, or is it... Um, are you talking about the defense? The other team, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, we could, we could really see what's going on just based off, you know, their alignment, you know, their footing and, and what they're going to do. So that gives us an advantage so we can create those lanes for Ashton. On a lot of those big runs... I mean, you were right there on the edge kind of sealing it. Um, how good does that feel? You know, that is a great feeling. And, and once you get back and you see it on film, it's amazing. And we go over in the team meeting and all your guys can, can really see the work that you're putting in. And, yeah. and you're really learning how to, you know, cooperate and do good in the run game. It's, it is a great feeling. And it's addicting. And you want to do it over and over again. So it's, it's an awesome feeling. It's, yeah. Is it, you know, I asked uh, Riley, but is it sustainable just to – pound the rock and run him as many times as you do and or do you guys need to try to get something going in the passing game yeah we're gonna I think we're gonna get something going in the passing game I mean Ashton's a great player so we're obviously gonna try to give him the rock as as much as we can and with SDSU's defense you know we have the advantage we have the guys to run the rock and that's what we did to get the win so common sense but I mean how much would the would a more downfield passing attack help you keep things going in the run game as well Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, it's going to soften up the linebackers and the DBs. And, and you know, the, the D, the D line is going to get tired because they're going to be pass rushing for most of the game. So, you know, once we get in that rhythm, it's it's going to be dominant. We know the team we can be, so. You talk about rhythm. I mean, you and Riley move around quite a bit. Like, it is found like you guys found a nice little rhythm the last game. And when 80 said your best game is tight end, what, what is it about the rhythm you guys are playing with? And do you think it was your guys' best game tight end? Yeah, I mean, I personally think it was my best game at tight end um, and Riley's best game. We did play re really well. Um, I would just say during the week, during practice, just having that bond and, and being able to, you know, work your tail off, and that shows up in the game, so. Did you have a favorite action that you went from last week? Um, yeah, I would probably say the mid zone to the right side um, where he cut it back, broke a couple of tackles. And then my second one was I was on the front side, and. I buried one of their guys. Ashton made a spin move off and had a pretty good 30 yard run, so that was exciting. Is that the 58 yarder? I can't remember. The 58 yarder was the first one on the mid zone. Okay. Yes, sir. Was it like a 